Hey, this is um, Robert Barton, and for my project, I am uh, my group did relationship rules. So, and then I got family rules is what I'm talking about today. So, family rules are um, like relate like your family relationship is uh, pretty much your like relationship with your relatives and stuff like that. So, I'll get into it. Families can look like a lot different depending. So, there's multiple character. So, what is a family? A family can be um, a family could be like big with like a whole bunch of like extended relatives and like your grandparents might live at your house and stuff. A family might be small, um, like just a, like one kid and two parents, or you know one parent one kid. Um, so families don't necessarily have to have two parents; they can have one parent, and they don't even have to have kids. It can just be um, two people. So a family is pretty much um, a unit consisting of you know parents and their children but they don't really have to have two parents they only have to have one parent and then they only have they don't even need to have children either so that that's what a family is and the characteristics of a family is um so a lot of times families like live in the same household together um they um they're usually like share like uh, their um ancestry or like their um, history as well as like their living conditions now with each other. Um, they also uh, have uh, responsibilities with you know each other. So like, um, so may, children might have chores that they need to do, and then like uh, they have different roles that they take. So maybe like, um, you know, one of the parents cooks at night. Like in my family, like a lot of times my dad will cook. Um, and then, so, but it, it's like a, a, a lot of different things. Um, so that's the kind of the characteristics of a family. Um, there's many different types of families too. So there's traditional couples who, um, it's, it's like they're what you normally see. Like they love, you know, they you usually see them affectionate with each other and um, they, they live together and stuff like that. And then uh, independent couples are still like that, but they aren't as reliant on each other. So they can like uh, live, um, they, they don't rely on each other. So like one could go and uh, work, both of them might work jobs, stuff like that. Um, and then the separate couples are the ones that like live together, but they might not like, you know, have a good relationship with each other. So they, they might not be super... Um, involved in each other's lives, but they live together, so that's how that goes. And then there's different family types of family units. Like um, there's some families that like are more um, like consensual families. Like they talk, you know, more, but uh, but they might not be as like conforming. So you might have like some disagreements in those families. And then uh, there's also families that it's like okay, we don't talk, and you know we just keep it all at peace, so we don't talk. And then um, there's families that um, like to talk and you know are very supporting of each other or don't talk and are supporting of each other so there's a lot of different family dynamics that go with each other um, and finally we have um, culture gender and technology are all influences of tech of families so depending on culture we might have like different gender roles and things like that and then technology it can like help a family like uh, my family we have like family group chats that it is so we can like communicate with each other and plan to you know hang out and things like that H plan to be home at the same time so we can eat together um and decide what we're having uh, but it also can interfere so like let's say um i'm you know like playing on my phone while everyone else is can is eating you know it might interfere with you know some of the communication that can take place um so that's uh, how families relationships work and like their relationship roles so, um, yeah, bye.